it's got out your eBay, it's doing me head into Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Cooking the Haydens, and I'm Carboot Chris, and this is Bargain Bell. Hi. Looking very pleased to be here tonight. No, oh, she's tired. She's tired, as always on a Monday. She's always tired. No, I'm more tired than normal. Oh, she's more tired. You have to speak up a bit. People can't hear you. <clears throat> They've come to hear you, so crack on. Oh, okay. Right, well, welcome back to the show. It's free for all week, which means that I'll put a link in the chat in 10 or 20 minutes. And if you want to come on and join us live, you can do. Um, we're going to do some shout outs in a bit. Uh, I've got some shout outs to do. We're going to be doing a reminder for this month's raffle. And um, then we can bring some people on. So, um, I hope you're all doing well and all your reselling is going well and you're making some sales. Things are just ticking over. It's not amazing. Hopefully you like my shirt. I'll talk to you about this in a minute. Uncharacteristic shirt for me, but actually I think it quite it's quite fetching actually, isn't it? As long as it stays in this room, yeah. What? You know about you ain't going out with me looking like that. What's up with it? Look how cool it is. Mm. It's very summery because summer's nearly here, isn't it? I mean, we've had some nice weather this weekend, so why not? Anyway, you can tell Belle's not, not feeling it tonight. <laughs> She's very quiet. Um, right, let's see who's joined in, uh, who's in the side chat before we carry on. Uh, we've got Leanne Hill. Hi, Leanne. Uh, Dave Repairs. Um, has it been sunny in Devon today? Um it's been half and half. This morning was overcast and then this afternoon was sunny. Um, yeah, Dawlish is about 50 minute drive from here. Um, Dave was up there, I believe. Uh, Chaz Flip Stuff. Hi, Chaz. Uh, we've got the Flipping Sloth J. We've got James Tonks. Um, chat's just jumped. Hang on. Uh, we've got Darren Hawkins. Hi, Darren. Uh, Tories in. Uh, we've got Damien DB resells. Hi. Uh, 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 oh, Luke's just dropped a bowl. It smashed all over the floor. Oh dear. <laughs> Unlucky. Um, Chris Tyler's in. Hi, Chris. And uh, we've got Carl Phillips. Lots of people. Lots of chat going on, which I've not seen yet. Um, Chris Ould. Chris Ould, hi Chris, Rebecca Turner, um, oh, Re Rebecca's suffering there, chemical burns, nasty, mm. I hope you're feeling okay, um, let's see who else we've got, we've said hello to these people, hello everybody, Katan's in, hi Katan, I hope the move is going okay, Goat Jazz, Gary's in, the Bounty Hunter, um, We've got Sarah Ellen Tonks. Hi, Sarah. Oliver Ian's in, the tap peddler. 
Chow Sal, Chow Sal, welcome, welcome to the show. Aaron Tibbetts in, and we also have left-handed, left-handed hummingbird, hummingbird, <laughs> Jesus, can you speak? Uh, you do some, and I'll click them on. I'm on a left-handed hummingbird. Um, Soul Steps is with us. Joe Noble, uh, Lana. Hi, Lana. Mr. Sprout is with us. John at YLM. Hi, John. Uh, Mondo Daft as a brush. He's ding dong in. <laughs> Too late. Or early. I'm Ian J. Vintage is with us. Green Bear Peaks is with us. Adam. Adam, Just hello. Adam. Sales have been yeah, nothing much special to talk about on that department. Uh, Ray the Disabled Picker is hello, Ray. with us. Chop Chop's with us. Upcycle. Up. Upcycle, yeah. Upcycle. Yeah, it's just two P's. Yeah. Uh, Paradox Picker has joined us. Hello. Steve Brano is with us. Hi, Steve. -o. Sean Mix Shop. Yep. Hi, Hi Sean. Hi, Chris and the Boss. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Diggs and Laura Mr. Murphy. Mr. Diggs is with us. Hi, Laura. We're almost at the bottom. We've done well there, actually. Kevin's in. And that's it. We're and there. And we're there. Well, that's great. Welcome everybody. Let's hope for a good show tonight. It always is. Come on, let's face it. It's the best place to be on a Monday night at 8 p.m. Um, Nathan Powers just dropped in as well. Uh, Gary V. Gary Hedger, Hedger. watching from Amsterdam. Amsterdam? What are you on about? What are you doing over <laughs> there? What's going on? It's not. It's not swallow, is it again? <laughs> He started off saying watching from Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah, eBay's gone a little bit quiet this week. Um, I had a, had a half-decent weekend. It wasn't anything really major. Um, but at least it's ticking over. Hopefully we'll have better days soon. Randy428 has joined us. And <laughs> is that a real name, the next one? Which one? Wet Beaver Tactical. Well, you've said it now, so I don't know. <laughs> Are you a real person? That's Sounds one. like a strange name. We're very sceptical on this channel about strange <laughs> strange names. Hmm. Adam McLester. That's a name I've not seen before. Yeah, new name by the, by the sound Are of you it. A, Are I'm you not, a newbie? I'm not 100% sure. 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 It might ring a bell. But welcome anyway. Um Yes, it is, Wet Beaver says. We still don't believe you fully, but, you know, stay with us. <laughs> the minute... Don't ask. Don't ask what the story yeah, is. Yeah, if you've been here before, we, you know, we've been here before with this kind of thing. So, you know, please don't uh, don't blame us for being cautious, if you like. Um, long story short, Krillin says, so, yes, I've sold three of my bundle of jerseys, four of my bundle of jerseys so far, Krillin, so I'm happy with that. Mondo says, due to poor sales, are you on juice than fizzy pop? No, he's still on fizzy pop. No, I'm still on... Is it mango? Something like that, yeah. Um, what... Mr. Beaver says, ideal in mili <laughs> Mr. military. Mr. Beaver. <laughs> ideal in military. Okay, that's interesting. Dirty minds. Possibly, possibly, but... If you've if you've seen what's happened to us in the past, or me particularly, mm. then you might understand. Paradox picks says first time been able to watch the show live in ages. You usually have the baby and his bedtime is eight, so I normally miss it. Oh damn! Well, so at least what you're have here. you done with the baby then? <laughs> yes. Where's baby? Uh, Katan says there's a major issue with eBay listings at the moment. Your tally of items does not go up. I'm stuck on 800 listings. Mine has been going up as I've been listing today, Katan. So there's been glitches for about a week on eBay. I remember last week there was some glitches as well. People, I think James Tonks said that he, he lost all his feedback and then it appeared later in the day. People were having trouble with photographs and stuff. So there's some glitching going on at the moment. Uh, Mondo says, can you still buy Umbongo around the world? I think you can. I you think, still you, I think you can still buy it. Yeah, I used to really like that. Wet Beaver says uh, he's new to us, but he's loving it. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Cool. Stick with us. 
You'll go places. Night's Life has joined us. Hi, Night's Life. Hello, Richard. You okay? Uh, so, Chris Bell did the Earth move when the when the Exeter bombs went off. <laughs> I never felt it down here too far away. But that was pretty. That was a pretty big, and it didn't look very controlled. That explosion either. <laughs> It smashed with people's windows, for Christ's sake. I mean, how controlled was it? But so could you imagine if that hadn't have been controlled, mm. though, and somebody had just been digging up the fields and it had gone off? Mm. That could have been horrific. Uh, hi, David Resells. Um, Mr. Beaver says, our money is not moving into the bank, Connie. What, you mean managed payments? You've not had your payment yet. Is that what you mean? Uh, let us know. David Resell and Collectors joins us. Let's hope you're ah, good. So that, yeah. Did Bell knit her own <laughs> jumper and ran out of wool? <laughs> You'd think so, wouldn't you? It's called a cold shoulder look. Thank you very much. Cola Flippers popped in. Hi, uh, Cola, Mr. Flipper. Two um, bombs. Was it two? Oh, I didn't. I thought it was just one. Um, Managed payments, yeah. Um, so generally, it depends a lot on what bank you, you use. Um, but I'm with Santander, and I get I have weekly payouts. There's, there's absolutely no point in daily payouts. It, it's just pointless. Weekly payouts on a Tuesday, and I get an email in the morning. I don't know, probably six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning, and within a couple of hours, it's in the bank. They haven't failed. I don't think they've failed on that yet. There was one where there was a bit late with the email, but the, the money still went in. So, so far, so good on managed payments. I found it to be all right. I know what Quintan's trying to do here. He says he saw him bongo in farm foods last week and he started singing the classic song. I've had it in my head ever since the word umbongo was in the chat and I'm not singing it today. I'm not singing. Um, Chaz says, still stuck with PayPal while watching everyone move over. Oh, that's unusual. I, I thought almost everyone was moved over. Um, hopefully you won't be long. I couldn't really wait to get across because PayPal was causing me all kinds of problems with QuickBooks, so I was happy to move over. Um, James, I'll tell you I'll tell you all about this shirt in a minute. We've got some shout-outs to do, so I'll tell you all about it. Hmm. Uh Daily pay payouts don't pay over the weekends only weekdays. Yeah, I just do it weekly. I just don't see the I don't see any benefit really in having daily payouts. Uh, it's much better to have weekly, and then you can see week on week what your income is. You can see the ups and downs. Um, once you've gone a week, it makes no odds to have weekly or daily. So I really, I really would say to you, weekly is the way to go, and for your accounting as well, it makes life a lot easier on the accounting. You've only got to do that. Um, sort out that one payment, not every single day faffing about with accounting. Colin Lingler says, so nothing selling for anyone on eBay. I joined Depop a few weeks ago, sold one item, nothing since. Seems a waste of time. Oh, that reminds me, I sold something on Depop. I made a sale on Depop. I sold one of those jerseys. I've been more active on Depop. I've been putting some more stuff on there. I think I've got about 40 items now on Depop and I made a sale. I sold a Houston Rockets jersey for 20 quid. That was out of that bundle from last week that cost me a five reach. So a bit of profit in it. Not too much, but not too bad. I'm happy just to get a bit of feedback and keep my store growing there. Uh, Don Clark's joined us. Uh, hi, Don. You okay? <laughs> Katan, sing it, Bell. <laughs> Don't. Do you know, though, uh, as well as the Umbongo song, I've now got the Kiora song in my head as well. Kiora. Boogie, 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 boogie. Something like that, wasn't it? Um, 200 today on eBay. That's good going, Tap Peddler. Uh, Derek, I I think, have I, actually, I don't even think I've made a sale today, you know. It's been very, very quiet. I've been listing. I'll have to check, but it could. We could be heading for a no sales day. I've not had one for at least two months, maybe. Mondo says the shirt makes you look slimmer. Oh, thank you. That's because I am slimmer at the moment. <laughs> I have lost some weight. Um, yeah, I was cross listing them, uh, Rob. I always start with eBay and then I cross list across to whatever, like whatever other platform. In this case, it was Depop. 
but I've sold Houston Rockets jersey. I've sold um, the Washington Capitals ice hockey top. I also sold a Nike Air silver basketball top. And one other, and one other, you chat and I'll just find out what the other one was. I'll say hello to TD. He's good evening and ding and donging us. Too people late for that. People love Bell's Bell. Mm, Bell's Bell. You forgot what it was, real. your own little segment. And you forgot <laughs> it. <laughs> no. um, uh, Jason Riesling Gamer has joined us. Evening, folks. What else did I sell? Steve, oh. Steve Brano's getting all up there with the Umbongo. Uh, Denver Nuggets, Rob. Denver Nuggets shirt. That went for thirty pound fifty p. So I was happy with that one. You said all domestic sales. Yes, all the all UK sales. Keely Bannister has joined us. Hello, Keely. Hi, Keely. Thanks for joining. Wet Beaver says vintage is okay. Do you do vintage? I've got a couple of things on vintage just to test it out, but it's 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 actually meant to be for personal sellers, but. Whether I'll get chucked off, I don't know. But I've only got a couple of things on there. Uh, same here, says DB. You're in good... Yeah, it's, it's looking very likely to be a no-sales day today. Uh, Oliver Ian says, Lou bought a top the other day and the seller cancelled six of their sales, because inclu including hers, uh, as they didn't want to wait for eBay to pay through managed payments. All right. That's a bit... That's why weird. even sell on eBay if that's what you... If you can't be bothered waiting. Who said that? Oliver Ian. Um, that's very weird. That's so strange, Steve. I don't I don't understand that. That's proper weird. Chaz Flips says, weirdly enough, just had an email from eBay come through about moving to manage payments. It's a miracle. Ah, you see, the power <laughs> of reseller world, the power of the show has reached through and switched on your managed payments. Dave, bugger off with now Kiora words. <laughs> it's too orangey for crows. It's just for me and my dog. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Yeah, I will give you a shout. Um People are always really helpful. I know um, Darren um, and a couple of other people on Instagram have been dead helpful with stuff as well. So it's always good to have people like you guys just helping me out with stuff. So thank you. Appreciate it. Wet Beaver says, quick one. I can't make up my mind on free postage. We've done £100 on eBay today. A hundred quid's all right. That's not bad. Um, we don't do free postage um I, well i only do it i do do it on media and get single games only because you have to really because it's so competitive but anything else my stuff is like one-off items that don't often have a lot of competition so there's really no point there's no benefit in doing free postage for me but it's usually a big debate when we start talking it about is. free postage. I get it. A lot of people that don't. Yeah, I get it either way. I, either way, it's kind of like a toss Sorry, up. Sorry, a lot of people that do. Oh. It's a toss up to what you want to do. Um, and it all depends a lot on what you sell as well as mm -hmm. to whether it's worth doing free postage. Just do what Chris did and dabble around with it and see which you prefer. Yeah, I mean, when I first started, I did everything on free postage, but then I decided to flip it and it, it doesn't make no difference to me, I don't think. Mondo said, have you sold any pins? Yes, I have. I've sold some pins. Somebody bought some off me. Um, they knew I was a YouTuber, but I've yet to know who they are. <laughs> if you're there, let me know. Rebecca Cern says she got another jewellery lot last night for $1.99. Was thinking of buying it now for $4.99, but waited a few days and saved 60%. Nice. See, shows how waiting can help. Um, let me do some shout outs whilst we're okay. at the bottom pretty much of the chat. You keep your eye on what's going on down there. Krillin says if you want, he can show you how to point out fakes. Yeah, you've on the missed that. Jersey. I've already said that. All oh, right. It's because Thanks you just flip you no, you flip through and miss loads out. I know. Shout outs. Um, 
so let's do a shout out now remember how can we forget the big unboxing of the pop figures and toys and t-shirts and and everything now remember we did that and loads of you went and bought stuff from the guy on ebay the mystery boxes and um well it turns out he actually made a ton of money he actually made i think more than what i do in a month in just a few days following that video which was mental um but some of you have had good experiences some of you have not had not so good experiences um so i hope that you're reasonably happy with what you got it was not a sponsored video or anything like that i just he didn't even know i was doing a video until afterwards when i told him that i'd done a video and then all of a sudden he he was getting sales during that live show i think he did several thousand pounds worth of sales which is excellent for him but i got something through the post this week so i'll give him another shout out he doesn't need it but he's not doing mystery boxes anymore he's clearing his stock and if you look on his um if you look on his ebay now he's selling off bulk loads job lots of stuff like 10 pop figures 20 t-shirts that kind of thing he's selling you can see what you're getting basically anyway he sent me a parcel i didn't have a clue it was coming he didn't let me know anything he just sent me a parcel and on it was written thank you very much for the video and this is what he sent me he sent me this shirt which was brand new in packet i've actually left the tag on because i'm thinking i might still sell it but i thought i'd try it on but what it is with chris's sweat as well yeah why not um <laughs> it is if you can see it's uh the time machine flux capacitor with the delorean on it all over i think it's quite cool and actually what do you reckon shall i keep it or not but he sent me this he clearly watched the video because he said he enjoyed it and he sent me some back to the future um what do you call them coasters, coasters. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a back to the future mug with the delorean on it and he sent me a t-shirt now i thought this was the schematic back to the future but it's not it's it's a schematic book from magic the gathering so that's it he sent me those with just a little note saying thank you very much for the video um so that was very nice of him so obviously he sent me some free stuff so i'm going to give him a shout out so there you go if you want to go and see what he's got in his ebay store now go back and have a look rebecca says keep it mondo says better than that hummel jumper Give over, the Hummel's a classic. Chop Chop says keep it. Keep it. I quite like it. Keely says I'd keep it, you and Belle both really. But, oh, both look really grand tonight. Thank you very much. I'd like to say I feel it, but I don't. <laughs> She's not feeling it tonight. <laughs> I'm not feeling it tonight. Um, go on, any more before I carry on Dave to the says next it one? it almost suits you. Oh, he can't give a compliment, can he? I can't Rain say how amazing keeper. I look. They only want you to keep it because they know I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> That's what it is. They're just sadistic like that. I Tori really like says this. keep it. This is the this is the look for summer 2021, this. Yeah. Uh, right. Soul Steps did ask um, how much weight you'd lost because they're saying they were starting their diet now. Lockdown is a weight killer. Uh, I've lost 10 pounds. I'm trying to get to a stone and then I'll be happy. And you're trying to get to a stone as well, but she put on two pounds. That might be why she's not happy today. Well, no, because I knew that on Friday, so I'm not going to be, I'm not I, gonna be still sulking today, am I? Well, I told her to weigh herself again today to see if she'd lost it over the weekend. She hasn't lost it over the weekend. But you, you, well, it'll go. It'll go. That's it'll only go. half a story. I know, I know. We had a cheat day, basically. And then I accidentally slipped oh, up yeah. over the weekend when I ordered a almond milk latte and sweetened. i didn't ask for it to be unsweetened so i got a sweetened one and i was very Ill. she wasn't well at all <laughs> uh, so yes chris gets away with having a cheat day and eating easter egg and i accidentally have an uns I'm not i'm not an unsweetened almond milk thing and i'm really poorly and you've been fine 
What can I say? Yeah. Superman. Right, next <laughs> next shout out is uh Linda and Gaz. Um they are packing up their reselling, they're going into other avenues and moving into a different direction, as I like to say it. They're not giving up, they are changing direction. That's always a way to look at it. Um but you might have seen Mr. Diggs bought bought some excess stock off them and I know I think Tap Peddler bought some electronics from them, which is cool. And also I bought a few bits off them as well and included, I won't show you everything, it's mainly like toys, soft toys and stuff, but included in that, look at this, how cool is this? Look at that bad boy, that's massive. Look at that. Is Godzilla, um, who's it made by? Toy Biz, 1998 Godzilla. Now I need to put some batteries in it so I, it's not going to do the sound, but you, pr you hold the handle and you, he waggles his tail and he moves his leg and then he does his arm like he's eating something or something else perhaps uh, and that one. So you can do them all together and it looks like he's having a bit of a, a fit. So anyway, that's really cool. So I'm very happy with that. I'm in two minds whether to keep or sell that. But also in the package, Linda and Gaz sent us a present. And it's it might just look like an ordinary elephant. But this elephant is part of the Chopper Chups crew. Woo! Look, it's official Chopper Chups. He's part of the CCC. So we've got a new member. What's it? What's she called or he called? We'll have to keep it, won't we? Charlie the Chupa Chup Elephant. There we go. Just named him. Okay. Um, so thank you, Linda and Gaz. Appreciate it. And good luck with the new venture. Um, Tap Pedal says his Linda and Gaz haul video is coming out at the end of the week. Hmm. I didn't buy enough of them for a haul video. I just bought a few, a few small toys. Just going to go back. The Dave has joined us. Hi, the Dave. I haven't finished my shout out yet. Can I carry on or? Mm -hmm. um, right, next shout out. Talking of Chupa Chups crew, the next shout out. We've not had a new member for a few months, but we have a new member, really? Dragonfly UK on Instagram. Um, made an order from us last week. So thank you for that. Just a normal order from our store. But also this week, then went back and is now a member of the <laughs> CCC. Um, we signed their cap and they're a member of the crew. So thank you very much. I have many left now. No, I think I've got about three caps left. So you have to be quick if you want to join the Chuppa Chups crew. So I'm I'm done with my shout outs, dear. Right, well, Mondo says rip your tag off, it's a keeper. Right. Mr. Sprout reckons keep it. There's only me then. Clearly, they can't see it close up. That's it's, what it is. It's they very cannot nice. See it close I like up. it. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I know you're going to keep it. Uh, Stu says, does Chris like Back to the Future? Surprised he hasn't mentioned it before. Hmm. Uh, LG Retro Fines has joined us. Cool. Hello. It says live rip the tag off. <laughs> do it now. You'd have, to take the, you'd have to take his shirt off to do that. Well, I've got a T-shirt underneath, believe it or not. Have you? Yeah, but I could rip it off for me. Shall I rip it off? Go for it. Lockdown shirt. No one will see it. I can't rip it off because it's it's like a it's a proper tag. It's, it's not a tag. If I put a hole in this now, <laughs> Jason, the reselling game is hey. box arrived today. Being listing from it today. There we go. It's done. It's official. It's it's a keeper. <laughs> Or he's going to glue that back on again. I can I can tie that back on, no problem. <laughs> um, Bounty Hunter said, keep it for your next America trip. The CCC mascot, Mr. Diggs says. James Trunk says, the Star Wars stuff I got had to... God, I had to bin the, bin the cardboard packaging. It was stinking. Cup holder was rusty. Oh. A few white jumpers stained, not washed yet. But most of the order was okay. I'd ask for pics. Okay. Is that from? Yeah. Olivine, rip it off. Rip mm -hmm. it off. 
Oh, bless Steve Brano says you two are not overweight. Shut up. We're just a little, we're, we're a little bit bigger than we should be. We really are. You can only see us from here upwards. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the rest of it that's a bit of an issue. Love that Godzilla. He's a big boy. He is. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. I love it. Um, are we at the bottom? Uh, you mean to say you haven't got a tag gun, Tori says. No, I don't actually have a tag gun at all. No, I don't. <laughs> Coach Jazz says that when you did the thing, he says it looks like me dancing. Him dancing, not me dancing. Not for sale, Mr. Steve. Village Restoration. Is that a new one? No. No? In but quite so regular now. All oh, right. Regular viewer. Um, I'm going to share the uh, link if any of you want to pop on, have a little chat, then feel free. Cola Flipper says he's about half a stone heavier than last year. I'm about a stone heavier, so I just want to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm not heavier than last year. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm just the same. I was I was half a stone heavier last year. Uh, okay, so Cat Pedal uh, says he was lucky he wasn't far up, too far away, so he was able to collect stuff. Was that from Linda and Gaz or? I think they're both in Scotland, actually. I think they're both from Scotland. Nick Kay has joined us. Husty's Emporian, is, is it? Uh, Joe Noble says, my dad's name is Charlie. There we go. It's official. It's called Charlie the Chupper Chucks Elephant. Cola says he can jump on for a bit, so feel free, no problem. Um, just while we're doing that... Um, the Dave and me is he coming on? I don't know. He says, he says, I'm me. Um, just before we get the guests on, um, don't forget this month's raffle. Um, these are the prizes. If you want to join the raffle and take part, it's five pounds a ticket. There's only 30 tickets available. There's five prizes in total. There's three main prizes and two boobies. Yes, two boobies. And, uh, yeah, so this is what you could win in the raffle. We've got a special car Cabo boot Chris. Box. Yeah, car boot <laughs> box. A special car boot Chris mystery box. Nobody is ever disappointed with my mystery boxes. Have we heard from the person who got the mystery box? Um, Closet Geek. I think he's probably going to make a video on it. Um, so he has got it, but he's not opened it. So I'm guessing he's going to make a video because that's what he does. Um, so you've got a mystery box, you've got the two games, the two tr um, card games, Chayo's Secret and Palm Trees. These are worth, the mystery box I aim to put at least £100 worth of reselling value in it. It's, it's going to be mainly small things, maybe the odd bigger thing, but at least £100 worth of reselling value. That That is what I normally put in. Um, these two games, that one's worth about 20 quid. That one's worth about 25 quid. They're together as one lot, so you get 45 quid's worth of games. They are sealed and brand new. And also, the other prize is 28 PS2 games. Just a mixed bundle of games. There's probably somewhere between... 50 and 70 pounds worth of resale value in that or you just keep it yourself most of them are relatively low value games but what you do is you bundle them together you put five six ten in a bundle um, and you should get around 50 to 70 pounds worth there they're all resaleable some don't have instructions some do have instructions a lot of them have been resurfaced so they play like new um so that's that, and the two booby prizes. If you want to take part, it's five pound a ticket. Um, message me on Facebook or Instagram if you want to take part. I think that we've already had about eight, nine entries so far, and um, the prizes will be drawn um, at the end of this month on the end of the month show show. Mondo says, "Is the booby a decorating Back to the Future shirt?" <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Could be. Dave says, he, no, he's not coming live. Ah. He was just saying hello. Okay, fair enough. Um, 
so yeah that's the raffle for this month if you do want to take part give me a shout and we'll sort it out keely's gotta go thanks for joining See you, us keely. keely bye bless her trying to get tori on but i don't think it's going to happen <laughs> um great prizes steve says so, yeah cool and thank you for taking part as well um this this month is slightly longer um because the end of the month show was on the 22nd of february and the end of the month show in march is going to be right at the end of march so we've got an extra week and that means that we've got a week to fill and we've got a really good show that i have organized for next monday night for reseller world what we're doing is jason t smith is coming on and we're doing 20 tips between us 20 reselling tips that are suitable for the uk and the usa and they're not just your bog standard tips these are like your secret tips if you like secret okay. tips and they won't be secret after we've had the show obviously <laughs> But these are the lesser known things, the little bits of nuggets, golden nuggets that you might not always think about. This is not tips like take good photos for eBay, um, always have best offer on your items. They're boring things. We all know that. Yeah. Chris would like at least an extra week to try to come up with them, though. I've only got one so far. <laughs> I've only thought of one. So I've got nine more to do. But... Between me and Jason, we're going to do 20 tips for you guys. And we'd love to hear your tips back at us as well on the show next week. So it's going to be really good fun. Looking forward to that. TD says, Chris, I've totally forgotten how to like this stream. Is there any way you could help? <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? It's a good way. It's a good moment to tell you what to do. If you've not hit the like button, um, make sure you go and <laughs> go and hit that like button now. There's a button down there. It needs pressing. <laughs> so go and do it now. Okay. Go on. Go on. You know you want to. Go on. Go and press the button. I don't want to have to press it myself. <laughs> um, and also, after you've hit that like button, don't forget if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. Um, much appreciated thank you very much chris tyler says don't model clothing yourself top tip <laughs> <laughs> yeah i haven't sold that by the way so there's, there's probably a reason for that um if um let me put the uh let me copy the link again if if anyone wants to pop on so wrong bounty hunter said i've just seen that <laughs> Uh, yeah, the one that I'm modelling on Depop currently has not yet sold. I think it must be putting people off buying it. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it was um, well modelled. It was shocking. It was well modelled. You reckon? Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice less says I'm not pressing Chris's pee pee. <laughs> Top tip, get your wife to do all the work while you take all the credit. Good idea. Good How many idea, listings Craig. did you do today? Uh, about 12. How many of those did you do? Did you actually? 12. Do? From scratch? No. <laughs> How many How many have you got left tomorrow to do that are not yours? Uh, nine. <laughs> I will do some of my own tomorrow. I still have to photograph it all, and then I have to cross-list it onto Depop, so it's still a it's still a job of work to be done. Oh, Mondo says, add Cookie in the picture, it'll sell. Right. We don't want to sell the dog, though. That's what will sell. Everyone will be wanting to buy the dog. Alison, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lee's waiting in the background. I'll bring Lee on in a second. Do I need to? I've not liked it. Shall I like it? Oh, yes, please. Can you press my... Do you, want me to, button? do you want me to press your button? How yes. do I do it? You have to take the chat off. How do I do that? It's cross. 
And now press a like. Yeah, you go. Only four people. No, we have this every time, oh. and it, mine doesn't show up, does it, for some reason? No. Okay, right. Let's bring Lee on, guys. Let's bring Mr. Cola Flipper on. Hiya. Hi, Lee. Hey, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, you okay? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm struggling to get my um, headset working for a couple of minutes then, so... Don't worry, it's all right. Sound okay, you're in? Yeah, you're loud and clear. Yeah, oh. sounds absolutely fine. Gave us a chance to talk about the raffle anyway, so that's fine. Good stuff. Much going think... on in your neck of the woods? Um, lots. Always, always busy. Just really glad the kids are going back to school next week. Or in oh, a week, yeah. so uh, it's just a real struggle trying to do the day job, eBay, and parent and teach all at the same time. It's not, not straightforward. Yeah, because, I mean, you're sat at your computer most of the day, aren't you, anyway, doing your day job, and then you yeah. got to do eBay. Do you do eBay in between whilst you're working? Like, uh, no, so e eBay in the evenings. Um, right. If anything, um, any orders come in since the previous night, I might go and get the stuff out so I can pack it in the evening or maybe pack it in my lunch break. So, um, but yeah, it's all right. It, it, it's jugglable as long as I'm sensible. Yeah. I don't think jugglable is a word, but hey. Oh, no. Hey, I'm right up there with making words up, so I'm all for juggleable. Sounds like a good word, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Steve, uh, Steve O says, I'm listing wee bundles. Have I missed the boat? I don't think so, Steve O. I think they're still selling quite well, the wee stuff. I've I've sold all my bundles that I had ages ago, and I haven't obviously had any since. Um, you can't get anything down here, really, on Facebook Marketplace. It's just crap. Where are you? Where are you based, Lee? Again? Where are you? I'm in uh, Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire. What's Facebook Marketplace like around your? West? Um, it's the Wild West. So there's some good stuff comes up, yeah. but it, it goes like that. So um, I, and being a part timer, I just don't have time to to sort of keep looking at it all the time. So um, yeah, it's, it, there's some good stuff there, but I'm just not quick enough. I'm I'm the same, to be honest with you, and I don't look often enough. And I just find, like, you know, the save function, like the search function where you can save searches and stuff. It doesn't yeah. seem to doesn't seem to work very well. You don't get notified or anything when something comes no. up. It, it, it knows that I might like looking at whatever that category is uh, and bring me just random stuff that's kind of like it, but not what I'm looking for. So, And the problem is as well sometimes, if you've been, like, searching quite hardly for something like recently i've been looking for storage boxes mm. so now i'm constantly seeing storage boxes now because i've done some searches for it because it remembers until you start looking for other stuff doesn't it yeah well, I, on um on facebook they i was looking for storage boxes and you get those great big crates with the flap lids and they always say that you need to buy um like um a maximum or a minimum of 10 so I thought, right, I, I could do with some proper sturdy storage. So I, I contacted three different people, and not one of them came back to me. It's, like, it's, what's it's the point? funny you say that, uh, Lee, because I've been looking for the same storage boxes. I've I've got like half of my storage is in those. I think they're tote boxes, aren't they, with the flaps? Yeah, yeah. That kind yeah of that's it. It, with the teeth that come together like that. Yeah, that's the ones. And I've been looking for kind of like the 70 or 80 litre size, so quite big ones. Yeah. Um, but I've done the same. I've messaged four or five over the weekend. I've had one reply, um, but his boxes are a little bit smaller than what I'm looking for. I want I want the bigger ones, really. You want a big box. Yeah, I was box. waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Um, so, yeah, I've been looking for – but you see, the problem is round here. You can't – there's non-local round here. I've got to go further afield. So I've got to organise like a courier or a pallet load to come in. So I'm I'm looking for maybe twenty or thirty of those boxes because I want to replace all the um, all the B and M shitty ones that break. I want to replace yeah. all those. So I've been doing the same, but I'm having the same problem. Is people are just not replying. And, and you're thinking, well, are these people running a business or what? I don't know whether they're on commission or, or, or what. It because I I don't. I I've got to be honest. I do wonder if they're all stolen. At that sort of price <laughs> could be could be yeah i mean in fact what are they i mean the ones i've been looking at like five or six pound a box yeah like they can't be pre-owned pre ones yeah and these are industrial things so they can't have been cheap new no they're not you can buy new ones i think you're, you're talking 20 25 pound for a big one new 
Wow. Expensive, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the last lot I got had, had been used at like uh, Superdrug, I think, used by Superdrug, the last ones, because they still had some stickers on. Ah. Um, but, yeah, they just get them. They're just old ones from supermarket stores and stuff like that. I've got the um, – are they called Wham boxes? The, the big clear ones, so I think – they were about eight or nine quid each but if you sometimes they'll do um two for 15 pounds or two for 14 quid so they're i think they're 80 liter boxes so that's that's my main sort of storage so just every now and again i'll buy another couple of those i should be selling stuff rather than buying more boxes but hey no but sometimes you have to i mean it gets to a point where you've got to upgrade certain aspects of your business and yeah. at, the, at the moment i've definitely got to upgrade in my storeroom um because those boxes from b&m are really starting to crumble and I'm, I'm kind of thinking forward as well because it's quite likely at some point this year we're going to move house and i don't want to move house with those shitty b&m boxes because they're just gonna i can see me stop getting wrecked you know by the movers and stuff so i want some decent boxes yeah makes sense uh gary says b and q 149 liters 1650 each yeah, but that's way too big for me, Gary. I, I, I want them more, you know, so you, you can ain't stack. Lifting, you ain't lifting them up and down, are I you? want them stackable and so that I can lift down, like, so maybe five five or six high I can lift down. That's how I kind of operate. I watch him sometimes in that storeroom, and I'm just waiting for the day he pulls his back out because some of them boxes that he's lifting and lugging, and there's not much space in there either. So there's no manual handling going on. There's none of this bend with the knees and have a straight back. Seriously, he's going to do himself a mischief. I know. I've, I've done it a few times. I've pulled my neck a few times. Yeah, but you do that just looking at me. But, yeah. <laughs> when, uh, when you start getting older, right? He'll go, can you just, oh, my neck. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you start getting older, you pull your neck at the smallest little things. Like, you, you go and... Oh, just do my laces. Oh, my neck's gone. Yeah. I did it the other night, though, didn't I? You we were, we were sat watching the telly, and Chris had put his head on my shoulder. And I just went like that to, like, rest my head on his. And because it, it was just that little bit too far for my neck, I was like, oh, oh, God, my neck. <laughs> it's the thing, though. I'm, I'm, I'm 42 now. Everything hurts. And it, anything that I used to do 20 years ago takes, like, twice as long to recover. So yeah, I'm pulling the bits basically. Well, you'll, you'll know better than me because obviously it's, you know you've got ten years on me. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> liar. Uh, no, you say, mate. Yeah, same. Am I forty two? You're forty two. Yes. Forty one. No, you're forty two. I'm forty two. Yeah, I'm forty two. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're, we're now at the age where we can't actually remember how old we are. <laughs> That's because I don't even celebrate my birthday anymore. I can't be asked with it. <laughs> Can't be bothered. Um, Goat Jazz has done thirty quid since the show started. I still think I could I could be going for a, a zero sales day here, actually, which oh, is not my, good. My, last week was terrible because I I get obviously I, I being a part timer I'm not expecting to get as many sales, and um, but I usually get a trickle of every other day I'll, I'll get a sale or two, and last week I didn't get anything till Wednesday, and then nothing at all until Sunday. So I had one sale. And then yesterday I had, um, I think it was six by midnight. So, mm. yeah, it just all of a sudden everything came through. And I wonder if it's because of payday. But um, I don't know what, what has changed. I mean, in the UK, um, payday runs, I think it's 80% of people who are on, like, uh, PAYE get paid between the 20th and the 1st of the following month. So between 20th and 1st. Yeah. So it could be anywhere in that period. Um, so yeah, you never know, do you? Really, you just never yeah. know. Chris, if, I... you, if you need that many boxes, contact them. Yeah, I prefer to buy them second hand, really, Liam, because it, the new ones are mega expensive. So I've looked online at, at new ones, but it's just it's not worth it. I, want, I only want to pay five, six, seven pound maximum each. Well, that's what she's saying that because you're a business, if you contact the companies direct, they might do you a good deal. No, but these are the companies that are, that are, that are um, advertising on Facebook. No, oh, I thought you said they were second hand. Well, they are second hand. So you mean contact the contact new companies? The, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but thirty is not a big quantity for a company. Like they, they want you to order hundreds, oh. thousands, even. Oliver, is there? Hey guys. 
Hello. You all right? Okay? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I just thought I'd come and say hey. Yeah, no worries. Cheers for coming on. How's how's your reselling going at the moment? Mine. You, you do a bit of reselling now and again, don't you? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've I've not really had much interest in it in the last few months. I said this. I think I've said this to you previously. Anyway, um, yeah. I go through peaks and troughs, but I don't know. I've just not had much more motivation really because it's not my main income. You know, it's just one of those things where I know I need to get it sorted, but I just I just haven't got round to any more for a while. Yeah, and I I feel your pain. Okay, I didn't hit my hundred listings for Chris Quota by yesterday. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't get a full pay this week. This month. Did, did you? Uh, did you do a review I, I only with them made it down? to eighty-three. I only made it to eighty-three, and it, it's still it's, double me. <laughs> <laughs> it sits uncomfortably just the fact that it's not. A, it's, it's like an odd number. I don't mind if it's eighty-five. But... I, I bet you. Uh, I bet that was a difficult meeting to have there, Bell. <laughs> Yeah, I had to pull her in for a bit of a, you know, a performance management thing. <laughs> I guess with you, um, Steve, because you recently got a promotion at work and that, didn't you? So, yeah. obviously, that's probably taken over some of you. Well, it did. I mean, it, it's a, it's a, it, yeah, it did. I mean, I had to sort of learn a new job, you know, so it was it was pretty stressful at the best of times. Plus, we, we'd, we'd really sort of been really busy over that period of time. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't my first thing when I got home from work. I just thought, I'm, I'm knackered. You know, no. I, spent a, I spent a couple of days recovering. You know, if I'm lucky, Chris does a come list with me that I can just watch. And, <laughs> you know, but when, when he doesn't do them, I'm not very motivated. <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah, so. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> Well, that's that's it. I mean, like I say, I I enjoy it. I, I I enjoy. To be fair, I think I just enjoy spending money. You know. Yeah. I think uh, that's the, the the secondary part is selling it. <laughs> I'm gonna say you you're more technically a hoarder, aren't you? Because you just buy it and keep it. Yeah, which is why your <laughs> your your husband's sales are so good. Hi, Richard. You're all right. Yeah. But you say, the thing is, is that the thing is, Bell, is that you, you, know you buy stuff, you buy stuff that you're interested in. Mm. You know, and and if that's your forte for sort of knowing what things are worth, that's the that's half the battle. Yeah. Sure. No, I get it. That's why we have cabinets and cabinets and cabinets of stuff downstairs, and and boxes of things in the loft that we weren't unpacking until we officially like got a new house and it doesn't matter because Chris just keeps buying and filling the cabinets that are there so yeah. I guess it's a problem really <laughs> when you buy if you're a reseller especially like full time when you're part time you buy what you like but when you're full time you've got to buy what where there's profit as well as what you like so when you're buying where there's profit you're less likely to for yourself because it's not necessarily something that interests you it's more a case of I'm buying because it's five, six, seven times worth its value. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, the thing is, is that where you're you're in a position where you're looking at your sort of net sale price and stuff yeah. like that. You know, I mean, that that was never an issue for me. It's never no. been an issue, so I've never really sort of had to look at that. So if yeah. I see something cheap that I like, then I'll pick it up and decide later whether I want to keep it or not. Yeah, I get it. I get it totally. Richard, how are you getting on? Hey, Richard. You know, my wife, I've been, I've been uh, doing my racking, me insulating in next door, so I've moved a load of stuff out. Now, that is a place I want to wow. get into. I'll tell you what, I found it. I found, I'm sending you a DVD, Chris. I found it earlier. It looks like a right load of old. <laughs> wow. Sounds like right up my street, that, yeah. Yeah. I'll watch, watch it, yeah. It looks amazing. <laughs> I can't quite see it, but hang on. I don't know how to do it on the thing. I think it's just, uh, it's just reflected off. Yeah. yeah it, look, it looks like a bit of you, so I thought, I've, I've moved a few of the DVDs earlier, so I thought, yeah, I'll, get, I'll put that one aside for you. As many as no, you can send to Belle, she loves them. Well, I've got a load more to go, look. I've got 
That's all Blu-rays and DVDs. Oh, he'll have them. Uh, Bella there's them. five or six, Shut five, up, you. six fruit, five or six fruit crates there, all full of DVDs and stuff. So there's plenty there. Calm well, down, Bell. You've got stuff to get through, haven't you? I've moved the load. Well, I've moved the load next door into the storage because I've done the racking and that this week. Well, last couple of days, I've insulated it, racked it out. Plus, I've got about probably another fifteen hundred or two thousand DVDs probably at the storage unit. Bloody hell! So I'll, I'll put you a nice big box together. Don't worry, Bill. I'll put some chick flicks in for you. <laughs> We purposely, before moving, I purposely forced him to go through his thousands and thousands of DVDs, like personal collection he had, and get rid of them. He was selling them off by the box load so that when we moved, we wouldn't were, have half as many. They were probably good quality stuff and all. That's why they were selling. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, it, yeah. it was, wasn't it? Because we got with the last, the last sort of car boot we got to, we'd, we'd got down to the dregs, hadn't we? You know, the one where the you one. pull the box out and just nobody's interested. <laughs> we yeah. got to that that's, point. Like, that's like the nice fruit crates I'm going to send you. I went with Jay Flipping Sloth, and uh, yeah, so I come home with that lot, so. Nice. <laughs> that's good. Well, you've got plenty yeah. of stuff to be going on with there, haven't you? Oh, God. That's just the DVDs. Isn't it? There's, there's just so much stuff, it's not even funny. What did you what did you do with, with the Jaws thing in the end? With the Jaws? Oh, I've still got it. Are you gonna, still are you gonna it. list it? I don't know where, I don't know whether to sell it, list it or, or, or whether to keep it. I don't know. What was it's that just with? I'm gut, I'm gutted because the box was mint. And mm. obviously where I've had everything in there and stuff's got thrown in, it's just damaged the box. But I've got one of those um uh movie maniacs jaws. Uh, things oh, okay. with the boat in the water, and the jaws coming up on the back, and it's got the uh, di diorama. Really? Yeah, I've got wow. one of them. Yeah, it's, it's so, nice. Yeah. It's worth some good money that as well. It really is. If oh, you yeah. need to send it, have you got a picture of it? Send us a picture of it. Um, cool, I've got. Well, I'll, I'll take what I do is I'll take a picture of it tomorrow and send it to you. Yeah, cheers, man. Oh, that's uh, uh, question here for Lee. Uh, have you given any more thought into hiring someone to list for you? Um, not serious thought. I mean, it's it's something that um, it's like Christmas music. <laughs> um, not serious thought. I, it's something I I'm going to consider doing, but at the minute I just um I can't even get my act together to get get even notes put together for listing. So um, actually, then having to to pay someone to I want to pay someone to do it to take weight off me, but I, I'm really struggling at the minute just keeping on top of my own stuff. So. At some point, maybe. You need, you need to accept That's the thing. That. It's just too much. And then you can have a stay over today. Has somebody offered me something. Someone's offered you 25 quid for something. Just say yes. It doesn't matter what it is. Just get the ball rolling, Chris. Burn the hand. <laughs> right, okay. Someone's offered me 25 quid on a New York Giants jersey. Oh, how much is it? Have you got, how much you got it off for? 34.99. Thirty four ninety nine. What do well, you reckon? It's only worth about three quid to you, isn't it? I'll I'll take it because you're a viewer and you're uh, you're supporting the channel. So thank you very much, whoever you were. Oh, so, someone offered me something earlier. I've got a caterpillar uh, that smoked a hooker pipe in one of the in one of the. It's either the Pink Floyd stage show, like one of their one of their rock concerts. Yes, I think it I was a Pink mean. Floyd prop. Yeah, it's it's like a prop uh, caterpillar, and so it's got a hooker pipe and all that. And someone offered me thirty-five quid for it today. I was like, "You're joking!" It's that you can't stuff from like from concerts, rock shows, and stuff. You can't get it. Pink Floyd yeah, stuff yeah. goes for good money. Nah, hold out with that one. You know, so it's it's just nuts. Got that from the same guy. I got the Freddie Mercury chair from, but um, <laughs> also also got something another prop from a Talking Heads video. Oh shit! Um, yeah, some good bits, but thirty-five quid. It's just nuts. Yeah. No, thank you for that purchase. Um, appreciate that. And I've just delisted it from Depop as well. How do you know it was someone who was watching? Well, you just said someone made an offer. No, I meant it pinged up. <laughs> to someone who made an offer on eBay. Oh. You're right. It was <laughs> I thought you said somebody's just made you an offer. No. I just, it's, I they're too busy watching this. I wouldn't have taken that. Twenty-five. <laughs> I'm still on your eBay, so it's giving me notifications. Right. No, it's fine. It's twenty-five. It's fine. Chris, anyway. I'm going to jump off because my 
my internet, my screen keeps freezing. So I'm going to jump off because okay. I'm getting take only half the conversation because it keeps freezing. So thanks for having me on. I'll see you guys later. See you again soon. See you soon. Yeah. Was it Lee that had issues last time with his internet? No, I don't think so. Is it wrong that I'm looking behind Richard thinking, I wonder what's on them shelves? (laughs) (laughs) It's it's like an Aladdin's cave. It is, isn't it? This is the shopping channel. It is oh, this happy place. Oh look, this is this is this is my favourite thing though, look. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Too right. Too right. Of course. <laughs> Too right. Too right. Uh, oh, right. Oh, there we go. Hey up. Hey up. Oh, I've just turned it off now, hang on. <laughs> the screen's Oh bloody hell. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Uh, Tori says the sales are crap. She's been accepting low ball offers just to get them moving. There you go. Well, you haven't had a no sales day now, have you? I know. Mm-hmm. Mr. Yeah. Diggs said earlier that he was heading for his second no sales day. Oh, that's a bugger, isn't it? Nice Coca Cola bottle opener. Nice. No railway train lamp. <laughs> It's officially it's turned into a tour, Dan. <laughs> so we need to, we'll do it as a shopping channel. <laughs> yeah, we start putting bits yeah. on your stuff. Oh, Polaroid cameras, Terminators. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, loads of stuff. Um, loads of Richard, stuff. Richard, Goat Jazz says if you've got any more posters, he might be interested. Posters of what? Uh, movie posters. All right. I think I've got a, I don't know, I think I've got a Back to the Future one still sealed up or a no. classic part, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm we've already got one. We've already got one. It's fine. Loads our, of pub um, and stuff. our back bedroom before Chris turned it into another storeroom, um, we, we had originally set it up and he put his movie like framed movie posters and stuff that he's got up in there and some of his um walking dead like the michonne sword and things and yeah. we did it all, we did it up all nice and we bought um movie, it sound like- movie themed bed covers and now it just looks like an absolute shit it because it's chris's <laughs> packing area yeah <laughs> makes, it, makes it sound like you decorated chris's room for him <laughs> <laughs> Um, Husty's Emporium says, What's the Sputnik looking thing there, Richard? You've got something that looks like a Sputnik? Oh, that. That there. Mm-hmm. Um, hang on. Looks like a kinky that, top. It's a, it's a light, it's a lamp. It lights oh. up with different colours on the end of it, yeah. <laughs> Do you not like it a little bit rough, Oliver? My God, I'm not even going on. Jesus. <laughs> How's that going to be a sex toy? Jesus Christ. I don't know, Chris. I don't think you'll enjoy it, mate. No. Yeah, it's a, it's a lamp. <laughs> I've got my battery uh, in the clock on the brown figurines oh, are in the shop. I need to get oh, the battery cool. for it. Hey, oh, don't... yeah, they the cat. Um, thanks for joining us anyway, Lee. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Don't worry. Uh, we've got Katan in the background who's going to come on. Oh, cool. Oh, look. I bought this years ago. Laurel and Hardy clock. Oh, that no way, that's cool. cool. And you've got the, monk, the monkeys nicked one of their hats so it swings with a, the pendulum. You know, one day you've got to sell some of this stuff, really, you know. I oh, know. I oh, know. It's the one that's selling, that's the problem. I'm, I'm dreading that day when it comes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very oh, fine man. line to be reselling. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey Oliver. Hi, hey, I'm Richard. Hi, hey, Bill. Hi, Chris. How you doing? How's your neck, Katana? I noticed you put earlier that you've pulled yours. Yeah, I'll show you right now. Look, got the whole water back and skin on my neck. <laughs> An electric blanket. But I thought, because we've been showing everything, I think, let me show you around the house and see what it, what you guys think so far. But I don't know if oh, I can put the camera on yeah, my side. Uh, how do you uh, blah blah blah? Hang on, you don't mind oh, if people oh. start putting offers on your furniture, though, do you? I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't have to flip the camera on this. I don't think you can, mate, to be honest. You can, ah, oh, sugar. Hang on, 
One second. What, what is oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can. Okay. Hang on one second. Usually All right. All right. Oh, good, yeah. Living room. This is the re- living room so far. There's Rocky down there. He's oh, down there. look at yeah. him. Uh, let me see if I can turn the light on. No, light won't turn on. That's him down there. <laughs> so, he made a mess of his toys already. But that's the living room so far. That's all the mobile phone stock. Bloody that's hell. all going. Is that yeah. all, your, all your business stuff? No, no, no. I'll show you now. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going in the garden. One second. It's like, it's like watching Krill in this. <laughs> Oh, the anticipation. Oh, yeah. Hang on, that's the strobe lights going off, sorry. That's all the <laughs> Dyson's in the roof. But yeah. Already. Yeah, that's nothing yet, mate. Which one? <laughs> further and further away from the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the Wi-Fi's <laughs> on the middle, middle floor. Should be back to normal now. One second. Yeah. Right, this is in... Uh, my sensor lights go off. That's in the hallway. Oh, wow. That's empty boxes on the stairs. They are going upstairs. Kitchen, I'll leave out because it's empty. Uh, squeeze through. One second. Sensor light should go off in a second. There really is nothing worse than moving, is there? Oh, oh well, mate. I, I hate it. I hate it. Right. This it's is the, the most stressful thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's shocking. One of the other rooms. That's wow. all the packaging. Oh, this is going to be the office. That's all. But well, do you not stand and look at it at the moment and think, where the hell do I start? I want to chuck it away. <laughs> I do want to chuck it all away. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> so, uh, there's some of the stock there. It's just crazy how much I've got. This is the other room. Uh, I'm, I'm going to fall off like Andrew in a minute. Um, did you realise how much you had before you moved? Yeah, I did. But the thing is, you know how I said um, when I was in Ireland, I had... Um, because um, Jack, half of her stuff is in Jackie's house. I've got 33,000 polymailer bags in her garage. That's and I've got her yeah. uh, uh, dad's old bedroom is full of my stuff. That's one of the other rooms as well. That's just thrown in. Have you got any household stuff? I know, I was there? thinking this. I'm like, where's your household stuff? <laughs> Um, there isn't any. <laughs> I live in junk. Um, and you know how you said um, you're the kit queen of uh, plushes? This is all my plush at the moment. That's all of it there. Oh, you, you, oh, that's a lot of plush. You need a bag in bell hand with them. Yeah. That's that's my living room. And then I've got another floor, but that's the bedroom upstairs. So that's nothing. There's the famous Palti that I was telling you about. Yeah. So, yeah, let me just flip the camera back. I'm sorry, yeah. that's playing havoc with my old TV that I couldn't cope with that. Yeah, it's too much, but I'm I'm slowly working my way through. Um, yeah, you yeah, you've got more gear than Monumental got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so how long do you reckon it's I don't know if you can hear me now because I've moved away a bit from the Wi-Fi. Yeah, oh. that's exactly what it is. Has he got, are you still there? He's got a better Wi-Fi than us. <laughs> Look at the frozy face, though. I know, yeah. Yeah, at least he's left on a happy face. Yeah, he's left us with a happy face. How are you feeling these days anyway, Rich? Yeah, much better. Good. Oh, Chris, look, it's only a replica, but... Yeah, that's cool. Let's call that. Yeah, that's good. If you to do, they come home at night. Who went out? 100% yeah, that's good. Huh? You cut your hair? Me? Yeah, you should see the back of it. Look, everybody cuts their own hair. Nobody has a wife doing it. I'm not going to do it. Mine's probably now. Everyone's probably. If Chris should cut his own hair this time round, oh, that'd be funny. Everything's frozen on my phone now. Can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah I can still hear yeah. you. Am I still moving? Yeah. My screen's frozen. Ah, oh, fair enough. No, That's you. all right. I'm not. I'm not worried. Yeah, you haven't got a happy frozen face like Katana. 
<laughs> yeah. No, he hasn't. Oh. <laughs> I thought you had. I thought you had. To. I've just, I've just got four frozen screens on my screen. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. On. Let's bring him back. There in. we go. There he is. Sorry about that. Lost the connection and running around everywhere. Z, Z, Beck cuts his hair, so it's not just, he's not going to do his own. Right, that's one. And Tori says, no, Belle, you carry on. You oh, no, Z, this is, this is not what I hoped. <laughs> oh, Rusty cuts it, you're only picking out the ones that say me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, if Chris can cut a tag, he can cut hair. <laughs> To be fair, he has offered to cut mine for me and I can't even bring myself to let him just like trim it or anything because I just know it'll go horribly wrong. He's trying to do something genuinely nice for you there. Exactly, I know, yeah. What a, what a guy. What an Look, husband. You don't see that the, the excited look on his face when he's asking because I just think, no, I'm not letting you anywhere near me. And he's like, oh, go on, let me, let me, let me just go. <laughs> Uh, Katan, when do you, um, when do you think you'll um, you'll be like up and running again with the business and stuff? So was that to me? Yeah, yeah. When, when do you, how long do you think it'll take you to get yourself well, up and running? I took it off holiday mode on the twenty third, um, and I've had a few sales here and there. Um, I've, I just to recalibrate with all the level of stock because I initially put five of each of everything in. Now I've found everything. I'm just adding everything on, so um, it's running in the background, but not a full screen. Um, mm -hmm. The print is down. There's the office is not set up. It'll be probably over a week, but I've got the landlord coming in because there's a few bits that need to be sorted out, a few locks and this and that. So I need to get rid of all of that that you saw um, before he turns up on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, not good. yeah. It might not be happy if, if he sees that. You're gonna have to. Yeah, at least so, take it I mean, it's... Say again. You're gonna have to at least like put it in one room, maybe. And brick up the room. Yeah, I mean, yeah. all of that, all <laughs> those boxes were in in the. Um... Is he froze again? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is he thinking or is he froze? Because <laughs> in the morning, late evening, it gets. No, no, no. You're freezing up again. Yeah, yeah got you. Yes, mate. Uh, the we got connection's you. really bad. Yeah, so we're um, <laughs> still yeah. waiting for your part two video as well. So you need to get that done as well. Put that on your list. Yeah, yeah. I need to edit that. I need to do the photos of this place as I was going to do the edit. It, it's the PCs in the box. So this is the temporary one I'm using at the moment. So I just can get the labels printed out for Hermes and all that. So. In the meantime, I can't. I can't do anything. It's no, just no. you look one way and you're like, I want to throw this away now. I just want to start from scratch. That's how much stock I've got left. Have you got I'm a loft? Have you got a loft? Say again. Have you got a loft? Have I got a loft? I've got a loft, a loft. but I'm not allowed to use it because it. Yeah, yeah I can't use it. We were trying. Yeah. yeah um, he, he's got. It's, it's got access, but um, there's no ladder inside it, so. I can't get it, and it says it in the tendency. I can't use it. Mm. Yeah, I think a lot of um, when we were looking around, uh, the rented ones a lot were saying we couldn't use the loft, but here they weren't bothered, were they? They were just like, Mwah. I mean, there's, there's no ladder here, I have to bloody clamber up there. It's a nightmare. <laughs> on Bell's shoulders. Yeah. It's a bloody nightmare. I hate it. No, you, you, you need to see that we have the rickety, this pair of like um, little step fold down ladders. metal step ladders that like, actually reach the loft. He has to yes, jump a little bit at the top. Yeah, <laughs> has to do a, a pull up to get up there. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to jump off because no my screen's you. frozen. Take all care, right. bud. And I'll, I'll see you all soon, anyway. See yeah, soon. take care. Cheers, Em. Bye. See you, everyone. Bye. You know, this is Bye. fantastic. We are the ones that have the least internet problems. I'm amazed. <laughs> uh, I'm still up there with you at the minute. Thank you. <laughs> my connection is about 30 meg now at this. Place. Uh, no, 59, sorry. But because it's on the middle floor, I haven't set it up enough to, to get the signal out. So until I've got to put the boosters in in the rooms as well. 
So that's we'll like you on dropping out connection. <laughs> uh, Mondo says the only reason he did eBay was to pay off his mortgage early, which he did in seven years. That's wow. good. That's good going. That is bloody good. Yeah. That's really good. I think you should go get a real job and do that. Just pay our mortgage off. When we get one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you do look like you're in holiday mode with that shirt on. I know I do. I also, I also I feel like I've got a tan as well. We need to get a yeah. on that. Honestly, Chris I can't say with an umbrella on it. To Hawaii or somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, when we go <laughs> home, when we go home to uh, Florida, I'm going to dig this out and this is going to get worn every day. I'll love it. With my sunglasses on. Bell loves, loves it as well. <laughs> She's in denial at the minute. <laughs> This is wacky for Chris. Chris doesn't do wacky. Chris is a black, you've seen, black Hummel. <laughs> that's Chris. <laughs> that's what his arms look like. You've not seen them in about four months. Uh, Bounty Hunter said a lot of landlords are put off by people growing cannabis in the loft. <laughs> that, yeah, you never thought about that. I think, um, I think most of the time it's, it's to do with like, you know, like people falling through and putting the foot through the ceiling and stuff. It's clearly That's the wrong fault. They didn't to, specify, did they? They tend to dump stuff uh, at the end of the tenancy as well. That's why they don't like it. No. Yeah, we when when I went up in the loft here, um, there were some stuff from previous tenants up there, which mm. they didn't even know about because I told the landlady last time she was round. You know, there's some stuff up there from someone else. Anything like, nice. yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's in it. It's just, but I assumed it was the landlady's, but she said it's not hers. We'll go and have a read and see if there's oh, something about. we can. You know how hard it is to get up there. I'm not. I going reckon up it's there. vintage Argos and indexes. Can you imagine? <laughs> We're just catching up on the chat. People growing cannabis. So I'm, go yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot off because my neck's hurting a bit, and the other half's in the kitchen, so I don't want to leave her in there. She's too camera shy. No worries. <laughs> All right. Thanks. See you, Thanks. See you on Thursday. Thanks. 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 I'm sorry, but if our house looked like that, I'd be setting up camp in the kitchen. I'd be like, you are not putting a box in this room. <laughs> it's, it's staying like this. You would literally stay in one room just to prove that you're not putting I mean, anything in it. When we moved here, I literally spent a couple of days just unboxing, moving everything, because I can't I can't have that. Especially when you're trying to run a business as well. You've got to, you've got to get sorted quickly. I don't yeah. know how you managed to get it all separated, to be honest. But to be fair, little did we know, if we'd known that a pandemic was going to hit a week later and we'd be <laughs> locked, we'd have waited a little bit longer to give us something to do. Yeah. <laughs> Sat there literally going, I've just done everything we needed to. In the only week free that we had, we allowed to go out. <laughs> Better get it done this week, otherwise I'm back at work next week. Yeah. Well, the thing was, we'd not even done a shop because we were like, no, we'll get the house unpacked, we'll get everything done, we'll go shopping next week, and then bloody everything shut. You were so lucky, though, to get down there and get sorted out first. I know, we were, really. Uh, Carl Flipper says, Chris, you mentioned moving earlier on. Is that moving to the same area or moving to the part of the country? Um, time will tell, Lee. Time will tell. We'll see. I think you're settled there for the time being. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Joanne says, would you sell the stuff if it was previous owners? Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard Chris talk about the people that buy the sneaky stuff. So. <laughs> when it's been worn. Oh. <laughs> That's, that, that was my point, Dave, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, Lainey. Hi, Lainey. Welcome to the show. Mm. Mr. I, like that. I like that from Mondo. Now I just buy a new car for the wife to go in flat. Will you buy me a new car? But, um, I wouldn't for the same reason. <laughs> 
Uh, move to Shropshire. The car boots are massive. Some of the car boots down here are pretty big, to be honest. Oh, has Mr. Beaver come back? Hello. He's back again. I thought yeah. he went. Yeah, he's here. You're off before. Came back for more. He was like, oh my God, they're still on. They're still going. <laughs> they're still wow. going. <laughs> You could do a video on open box, open opening boxes, boxes from the loft. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard Chris's um, high pitched girl screech that he does no, when he's taken no by guess. surprise? It's <laughs> hilarious, and I'd love for something to have jumped out of the box and catch that on camera. No. If no, you no. if you ever Comedy want to, gold. if you ever want to listen to it. Just go find a video on Chris's YouTube channel called Weapon Wild Streamer. Oh, she's plugging it now. It's fantastic. <laughs> you will, so I swear to God, you have to listen to it at least five times before you stop crying. <laughs> it's only funny to us, nobody else. Oh, no, no, no. It's funny to everybody. Have you ever watched the videos with a screaming goat? No. <laughs> no. Oh, you're not you either. There was videos out with a screaming goat where they used to do like a Taylor Swift song and then put a screaming goat in. Oh, God, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, well, Chris sounds very much like that. <laughs> Tori's in Shropshire. But Tori doesn't go to car boot sales, you know. I don't think Tori's actually ever been to a car boot sale. I'm sure she said that to me once. Really? Yeah, she didn't. She's never been to a car boot sale. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What baby says, Chirk is an old airfield. It's huge. Well, we like how far Shropshire? Up towards Birmingham way, isn't it? Mm. Oh, Tori. No, it's just good three hours. So Tori is going to him this year. Ah. Oh. What's left of him? I think uh, Andrew's been to Chirk a few times as well. Sure, he uh, Katan's going to do a before and after video. We said, oh, said cool. it's quite hard to move around. We could see. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do one of them time lapse videos. Yeah, I mean, shifting everything. Yeah. Seriously, my brain's still wigging out just from watching him walk. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tori says she is this year. You'd be amazed, Tori, when you go to a boot sale that you've never been to one before. How, she, how have you never been to a boot sale? How are, is that possible? Strange behaviour. <laughs> For a retailer. Can you imagine a sort of getting to a stall and going, yeah, it's 50p for that item, love. <laughs> She's like, like, what? You sure you don't want £10? Yeah, like a, got like a fiver in her hand. <laughs> yeah, she'll she'll be like feeling bad for people. Like, I can't give you fifty p. Here's two pounds. Ten p an item, love. Ten p an item. <laughs> First time, just literally filling a car up for a tenner. I think Paradox Pick is trying to put people off. Going to, Everyone go to Chirk. <laughs> well, let's have a reseller meet up in Chirk Car Boot. <laughs> Chirk Car Boot. <laughs> Atham says, uh, where is the best place in the country for car boot? Well, where, most people are going to say their area, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not say not their area because they don't want people to go in it. <laughs> I don't depends know. What you, I, I reckon it depends what you're after. I think, I think the, the stuff that you probably get down there is a lot different to what you would get in Manchester. Mm. And the prices are probably different as well. Yeah, it is. It is. The prices are different. It's we still, you still get some of the same stuff. Um, it's just a strange one, really. But I think just every area's got different boots, so. though. It's just that it's quite cool what is um, right at the moment with me is because we um, booked an Airbnb um, for April. Oh, for after, you're brave, aren't you? For after we can travel, because we can only do garden visits and we can family with an Airbnb. So, 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 what, April 2022? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but no. apparently it's the same weekend that our boots are open, so Chris is not an happy bunny. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm looking for boot sales wherever we are. I'm going to a boot sale. I'm telling weekend. you, he's going to be there going, I'm just going to pop to a shop, love. Just uh, <laughs> three hours just, later. Yeah, just pop it out. It's, it's, like, like, we're not in Devon now, it doesn't take you 45 minutes to get to the shop. You don't need a PS if you're going to bed. It's, um, 
Yeah, it's the first weekend that boot sales are going to be open and we've booked to go up north. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. You did that. Well, can't believe it. And my answer. <laughs> My answer was some things are more important than car boot sales, and Chris's answer was no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's his that, that's his bread and butter. That fell exactly. This is, how we, this is how we pay the bills. I'm sorry, I'm sure. we, we've, we've gone god knows how long without car boots, and he survived. We can survive that weekend. People, listen, people are desperate for boot sale videos to yeah. come back on YouTube, right. That's what they exactly are. I'm, I'm potentially going to miss out on that first weekend. Sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry, Chris, mate. Yeah, uh, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, James says, never been to a jumble trail, uh, none in my area, but plenty of car boots. People look out, James, because they're popping up everywhere now. You see them advertised on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, places like that. They were quite new to us before we left Manchester, weren't they? There they weren't were... that many in Manchester, but there's been quite a few down here. There's been oh, quite a few. Jumble trails. Yeah, because down here, it kind of lends itself quite well to jumble trails because they do them in little villages. So you can yeah. literally walk, you can walk a trail. I don't uh, think you'd get nice. that in Manchester, would you? And it's a bit harder in Manchester because there's but no there used to be one in boundaries June, anywhere, wasn't there? But yeah. it was massive. It was yeah. massive, and it's it's difficult when you only have one or two on a street as well. Yeah. But, you know, the street's about three miles long. So we used to end up driving around the ones <laughs> in Levin June, didn't we? <laughs> Paradox Picker says, if anyone does go to church, wear your chopper chops cap so I know you're part of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone. Um, so I know you're part of the crew, yeah. And you have to do the secret handshake uh, when you see each other. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no, you can't. Don't do the handshake. You can't, you're not allowed yet. <laughs> Just wear the cap. Look at you giving sound advice. What? You giving sound advice, shake hands. No, you can't do the shaking hands yet. Maybe by the summer you can do the secret handshake. Kath said that they don't have many around there before COVID. And she used to love holidaying, Devon. Well, I had this conversation with my niece the other day because um, my family are starting to look at when they can travel and stuff like that and coming obviously down here to visit and, and stay places. And I was kind of like, mm, our holidays are like back in Manchester now, aren't they? I'm like, can you actually holiday where you live? It's <laughs> yeah. so a downside to moving to Devon. It's not a holiday no more. Um, Sunday morning market where my parents live in Dagnum has permanently closed down. Due to, oh, that's a shame. My nan used to live in Dagnum. We, I used to go there a lot. Dagnum. Down south. Down south. That's how your mum sounds. Dagnum. <laughs> Come see the beaver at church. Says what beaver. Sorry about that. No, no, no worries. Oh, it's all right. We're getting used to people just randomly leaving us. It's that, fine. That wasn't like an internet issue. That was me trying to clean my screen and press leave. <laughs> <laughs> that, that bollocks. Whatever. Whatever. You just don't want to go back on the fact you said you didn't have internet My issues. internet is perfectly <laughs> fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> You don't want us to be the only ones tonight without internet issues. <laughs> Dan's giving out some advice to Tori on boot sales. When you go to car boot, make sure, sure you bargain. Never take the first price they give you. Make bundles. So you, yeah. Nice one, Katan. Mr. Diggs says he's only been to one car boot in three years. Really? Oh, I yeah. thought Mr. Diggs had been straight in there at the boot sales. Mind you, is he more of a charity shop kind of person? Oh, clearly. Mm -hmm. I thought he'd have been well at the car boots. Chris is going to be like a kid in a candy shop. I can just see Mister. I can just see Mister. Diggs walking down the the middle of the car boot looking for stuff with his with his vest on, his gold <laughs> pins, and his and his straw hat. <laughs> yeah, Mister. Oh, Fashion Sense. His granny trolley. Can I just point <laughs> out Mister. Fashion Sense there, giving other people criticizing other people. Looking, looking all gangster then with his granny trolley behind. <laughs> <laughs> Tori says Mr. Diggs have got his contacts. Oh yeah, he's, he's got his house clearance guys, hasn't he? Keely oh, says he's diving, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he has done. He's had some good free. He's had some cracking VHSs free for nothing. Oh, sorry, Keely, I've just nearly banned you. Ah, no. 
Oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> See? Sorry. My bad. Mondo says I stopped going to the bo to the boots when the entrance fee jumped to fifty p. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! You want to wipe that one I went to last year then? Eight quid to get in, Mondo. Eight. Yeah, we we've got a couple of them round here. That's like that. It's like if, if you want the hour before, this yeah. is how much it's going to cost you. Yeah, well, Chris paid for the early bird, but he was like, it's eight pound. I don't think we can really both go in. So I sat in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I said to you do, you, do you genuinely want to come in? If you do, I'll pay for you. If not, you can stay in the car. Did you at least leave the window down a bit for her? <laughs> well, the alarm kept going off because it's one of those stupid self-locking things. <laughs> the problem... Um, the problem was on that particular day was we paid oh. I'd, I'd attended for the early bird which was eight quid for two hours early but i was already half an hour late for the early bird so most so, of the people like who would have been like bang on two hours i'd already gone in and got all the decent stuff so for the sake of eight quid you were going to leave your wife in there for two hours and, and in the end it only ended up being an hour and a half to be fair, I don't know how long it was because I did try. I climbed in the back seat. And it <laughs> down. But like I said, the alarm kept going off. So you'd have, had a, you'd have had a copper knocking on the window going, come on, love, move on. <laughs> oh, it was on a race course, so we were all right. But <laughs> And when he says that he offered for me to go in, I've learned how Chris words things and really <laughs> yeah, I, that wasn't no, an option. He's <laughs> not. It's like he knows what answer he wants me to give. <laughs> you don't you well, you don't you don't really need to go in, do you love? <laughs> <laughs> he says do you want to come in then gives me a hundred reasons why I shouldn't. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna be busy. He's yeah, gonna be busy in that, in that way, never. Um <laughs> Wasn't that the same day that you bought that, that you bought the sun loungers and then left yeah. them and we were halfway we were so halfway home. Right. <laughs> I, two, I found two sun loungers and um, I said oh, I'll pick them up when we when I'm finishing and I forgot to pick them up and we're driving halfway home. We got about twenty minutes home and I realised we left it to go back to get them. <laughs> so uh, Karma came back. Keely says, really, Belle, you're going, if you're going to be like that, I'm team Chris. <laughs> Sorry, Keely. Get in there. It's because I have to use my phone when I scroll up. It gives me a finger. It makes me ban people. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me ban people. <laughs> and, my, and my little sausage fingers. Uh, LGG says, I go three times a week to the same one. Can't wait till it's back on. Bloody hell. Three times a week? Yeah, is that like a Saturday, Sunday and a Wednesday or something? Yeah, or a Thursday. Or something. Did we have any that are on? Well, there's one There's one that does Saturday and Sunday, which is the, like probably the closest. One. No, it's thingy, Torbay. Oh, Torbay yeah. does Saturday, Sunday. Then there's Dawlish does a Thursday and I think it's a Saturday. So, But yeah. the problem with the one that's on a Saturday and a Sunday, it's the same people that go back Saturday and Sunday, so it's the same crap that they pull back out again. Belle, there's not that many people around there, love. <laughs> yeah, true. <It's, laughs> if they don't turn up, there'd be no car boot. <laughs> that is very true. Very true. <laughs> The early bird was a quid for Mondo, but he saw the £8 one nearly fell off his chair. <laughs> That's how desperate Chris is to get in there first. But the thing is, even like five or ten minutes before, they will still try and charge you that full amount. I'm like, I might yeah. as well stand here and just wait. Thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah. Really, if you're not, uh, you know, uh, half an hour late on the early bird, it, I might as well have not bothered, really, to be honest with you, because I'd lost, I'd lost out to a lot of people who had also paid eight pounds. Well, this is yeah. what your brain was coming up with, wasn't it? It was going, oh my god, there was just amazing stuff everywhere, and the. Yeah, life changing. <laughs> Might as well not bother. If you're going to pay for an early bird, you've got to get there when it opens. What's worse then, wondering whether or not you've missed out on something or watching someone pick up something you really wanted? Mm, probably watching someone pick it up because you, then you know that you've missed something then, don't you? <laughs> There's always that like a few seconds before where you're like, I shouldn't have watched that other thing. 
Yeah, oh, I've done that loads of times. Of course, spent too much too remember, long on that one table. I remember last year on camera, caught a couple of things um, on some of the videos where I'd been looking at something, I'd missed something else that somebody else was picking up. Oh, so Split nice. second. But you know, I can't be doing with I, and I always say it, and I don't know if anyone in the chat is guilty of this. If you are, then you're not friends with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm joking. But I, 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 some people get there like super early, which is fine, like an hour plus early. Um, but then when they when the gates open, they run in. I I call them <laughs> I call them runners. The runners. I don't, I've you never run. Run. you you. I've off. never fu I've never fucking run in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you do one of them weird fast walk runs. <laughs> Yeah, that's different. You know when you do a little skip in the middle. <laughs> but I, I really, I hate when people go running into a car boot. The thing is, yeah. right? If somebody's got there really early, and then they run to like the first stall that maybe they've had their eye on while they've been waiting, they've been eyeing up the stalls. Oh, so yeah. they get to that first stall, but that's the only advantage they have. Because they've taken, they go straight to that first stall. Yeah. And then in the meantime, the rest of the queue are walking past them and looking at the other stalls that they've not looked at yet. So that, that for that hour, hour and a half of queuing up before everyone else and then running to the stall, that's yeah. the only yeah. advantage you get for that split second. We've got, we've got one near us, which is like a gated car park. And uh, it's one of those where they, the the uh, sellers are allowed in like an hour and a half before or something stupid, and you just you stood there in a queue of like forty people, with one person taking your money off you, and you're looking through and you see, you see you can see things on tables and then just the sellers just walking around buying the shit up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're starting that one item up going, come on, please don't, don't, please don't, don't. I oh, think you're literally paying to go in and you're watching some bloke walk out with three like yeah. Aldi bags full of stuff and you're going, oh my God, I'd have well bought that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just like when you see empty tables because all they've done is gone round and picked everything up first. The thing, the thing is, there's actually something to be said for booking a stall at a boot sale yeah. and, then, and then really just either selling not much or put a table out and don't sell anything and just go around and buy it before all the buyers come in. Well, that's why yeah. you need Bell on there, isn't it? So, yeah, exactly. Some of them, some of them around here have a rule that if you're selling, you're not allowed to go buying from other stalls until the boot sale opens. Now, how they, do they really monitor that? I'm not no. sure. No, God, no. I think they must get a lot of complaints from people waiting, seeing all the other sellers buying from each other i think we're about 10 foot away from the stalls and you can just see them walking around picking stuff up yeah i think Tan thinks that you've got a skoda he said the alarm button should be near the driver's side pillar to turn it off in a skoda i have to do that for rocky no i've not i've not got i used to have a skoda, used to have a skoda. yeah power, chris walks swiftly power walking yes <laughs> <laughs> uh I am the first buyer there usually. They need to get me a chair. <laughs> I walk. <in. laughs> like queuing up for a concert. Boots open. A lot of it, really, when you think about it, right, it's just potluck, isn't it? I mean, you can be oh, first yeah. there. You can be first one there and, you know, still miss out on loads of good stuff. So, I mean, What were we like at the, at the latter end before the boot sales shut because it was starting to go into winter? We were literally getting into these car boots at the crack of dawn when they were opening and couldn't see a freaking dicky bird because it was pitch black. So we were literally <laughs> walking around with our torches on our phone channel. I'm not being funny. It, it does seem a bit pointless, that, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of was, really. Um, I gave up. It just, my brain just shut off. My brain was like, yeah, I'm not doing this till daylight comes. It's not happening. <laughs> Rusty's Emporium is, has got a good point, and I do do this sometimes. If I see people in the yeah. queue going to yeah. a certain area of the boot sale, I'll go two rows away or start at the other end. I do do that quite often, to be honest. Message you up with a one-way system now, though, doesn't it? 
I know. But no one keeps to that one way system anyway. Oh, God, no, no one no. will keep into it down here. It was all over the show. Paradox Picker says, I used to book a stall and then just buy instead. But unfortunately, my car boot is selling. You can't leave until midday, which means I'm stuck there wandering around for a while. Mm. Yeah, that's a problem. I do enjoy walking round. I do enjoy walking round the car boot. Nice one, Dave. <laughs> What's Dave saying here? But when are we having the wheel? <laughs> wrong night, mate. Complete the wrong night. No, I do enjoy it, but I tend to end up buying more for me than I do for the business. That's half the problem. And that's it's quite frustrating because Chris gets the luxury of walking around and spending the business cash and buying stuff like for selling and things like that and throwing in the odd item that he wants to keep. And I literally have to dig into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I just put it on the business by accident sometimes. How often? Occasionally. <laughs> Don't be giving on that crap. It doesn't happen very often. Every now and again, if you can't be bothered, if it's because you've paid because I've run out of cash, which normally happens. I'm the one that's normally run out of cash because I've got no money left. Mm -hmm. and he only, he only gives you a fiver to start off with. No, no, I wish he did. I'm going to say this is one of my pet hates when we go to the car boot, right? He will give me the £20 note. <laughs> no I've never done that. You I've do never it done all that. the time. I've never done that. And then it comes, I comes like back I to you later. Because no one got change. That's so not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, Chris, please give her like a 50 quid note next time. I know. <laughs> I <get> it. <laughs> um, yeah, I use, um, I use Ikea bags or I use... Sometimes I just use the uh, reusable ones. Have you, you not get. seen Chris's little unique stacking system with his bags where he oh, stacks, God. stacks one inside the other about and then just pulls it out as he fills it? It's bloody genius. <laughs> <laughs> it's reminded me that, actually. I think that might have to be um, my next 60-second video, that. Uh, <laughs> it won't take 60 seconds to pull one bag out of another. <laughs> that could be a tip for next Monday's show. Bag in a bag. Just when you think there's only two in there, there's actually four. Not only that, sorry, it's a bag in a bag in a bag. In, in a bag, bag in, in a bag. bag. <laughs> <laughs> With only two arms to carry him. Oh yeah, he's not, he's normally wondering because I can I can't really carry much stuff with my condition. It it weighs quite heavily on my arms. So Chris is normally the one that's like loaded up and I'm like one little bag like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Brum, Brumry. Don't cast men. <laughs> yeah. John John Brumry Seller says get a trolley. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've one. I had a granny trolley, uh, but I really didn't like using it to be honest. And also I've seen people with these big long trolleys, like the low wheelbase ones. Like the one um, Nick's got. Yeah, same as Nick Hills has got. Um, but uh, to be honest, I don't really like using I wouldn't use one of them because I just, I'd be worried about, I mean, you've got to hold on to it and look at the stall and it's like, what's happening behind? Like, is anyone in the house? It's like, yeah, you could pull her around <laughs> and, and cookie in it. But it, you know what it's like? It can get quite busy at a stall and you've got this massive trolley in the way. That'd be annoying, that. Of goodies. <laughs> yeah. People nope. nicking your stuff. Nobody, nobody be nicking your plush, Chris. I think uh, I think Nick has a cover for his that he puts yeah. on when he buys yeah, something. He, he yeah. puts a cover over the top to make it like obviously yeah, a bit remember, harder. Yeah. That's J probably a good idea. James says that he uses his son as his shopping trolley. He fills a bag, then says, "Put it in the car while I'm still looking." <laughs> <laughs> He's done about thirteen trips by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad when you're on the first two rows and you're right next to the car. Oh, yeah. Then you're on the fortieth row. <laughs> 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 There you go. Tori does the bag in a bag in a bag in a bag. Game changer. Game changer. <laughs> she doesn't go the car boots. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. The, the Russian bag techniques is paradox picker. <laughs> I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that phrase. That's that is great. brilliant, yeah. Russian bag technique. I, I need to write this down because I've got two tips now for next week. You've got two tips? Well, <laughs> Chippy tits. <laughs> chippy, I was just about to say you chippy tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Chris has become obsessed with um, a couple called Martin and Bex. On yeah. Do you know, you know them? Oh yeah, I, I, that I watched that one, and I watched is it Rubex or something? The other ones, uh, but they're fucking amazing. So it's so funny. it's so funny now. I just I'll come into a room and he's just sat there chuckling himself, and I can just hear that squeaky voice in the background of one of them. <laughs> 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 fucking hell, Bex! Have you, have you seen there's two that have you seen the one where he where she buys in the football where she takes off the sponsor on his football shirt? She just cuts no, the fucking big up. She, she puts a she cuts a circle hole. <laughs> this it's basically I think they, they must have chased the sponsor the shirt sponsor like halfway through a season or something. So you go oh, to shop and they draw the face on him. Yeah. Yeah. I've not seen how come you've seen that and I've not seen that. I haven't seen brilliant that, that one. Front thing before, I'm gonna watch that. Absolutely brilliant. And then when he makes the uh the when he puts the tent up like a love tent. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I love the um, I like the eating ones because he gags so easily. I just oh, think God, it's yeah. hilarious yeah. <laughs> when he's doing like the I'm a celebrity stuff or he's trying out new foods. Yeah, <laughs> this happens all the time, Husty. When you get to the bottom of the boot sale and then find something super heavy that you just can't pass up, <laughs> yeah. and then you have yeah. to decide whether it's worth the profit or not. Oh, that's so many times. <laughs> I mean, what I went to a few boot sales, um, obviously when we was up in Manchester, and uh, I went through a phase of finding big, big stacks of comics, and that's why I ended up with all my comics. I had like thousands of comics at one point, and um, God, thousands. they were so heavy, so heavy. <laughs> Trolley yeah. and a Rottweiler works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert for next week. Yeah, maybe, but you've still got 19 other tips to look forward to. <laughs> 19 other tips. I like that. We get what James has said. They should use shopping trolleys at car boots when they're not in a field. <laughs> Stick your coin in, get your trolley. Off you go. That'd be well. Oh, yeah. yeah, it would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. See, these are all good ideas. Somebody should push that one forward. <laughs> Steve ever says, I've torn muscles for heavy goods. <laughs> Now, is that oh, because that you said funny. you were... He, I'm pretty sure Steve said he was 50 but felt 18. <laughs> you see, John's feeling all smug now. That's why I got a trolley for the, for the heavy stuff. <laughs> That's a good question, James. Do you and Belle argue at car boots on whether an item's... No. 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 Not really. I just leave him to it. And sometimes I... Well... Quite a lot lately, actually, I've been giving you some money, like your twenty pound note, and saying if <laughs> yeah. you see anything for reselling, just buy it because she's. That, she's... Well, that's it. That's not a selfish act, though, is it? That's not like yeah, I love good treat yourselves. No, no, no. He gives me. He only gives me the twenty pound note to buy reselling stuff with. I don't get it to spend on myself. So he's basically employed you to go and find other stock. Yeah, he's picked up that when I walk around, I, I find stuff that he's missed. And then normally I've got no money. And I stand there gormlessly looking around for him going, he'll be back in a minute. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard that on videos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So now he gives me, he always gives me a bit of money to, to buy reselling stuff that I see. But it's always a £20 note. Always. I think, I think and then I feel the right idiot having well. to ask for change. I think you got like secret yeah. languages. Like, oh, do you think they'll like this? Yeah, yeah, that'd be really good. That <laughs> Belle picks up some fab stuff. Tori says, "I do." She does actually. She's she's got a very good eye. She could quite easily go off and do reselling. I think definitely. Yeah, we're not going there again. She's too busy doing yours. <laughs> I know. That's true. <laughs> what would I do? I'd have, I'd have to do some work. Honestly, Belle, he's like, "Oh, we're doing a come list with me today." Belle's Belle's got all this stuff already done. I just need to ring her and ask her about the prices. He pretty much only does the come list with me when I've done the listing the day before. <laughs> I was half expecting him because I'd done like, I think I'd done about 20 over the weekend. So I was half expecting him to go, I'll do a come list with me in Monday morning. <laughs> See you, Craig. Yeah, bye, Craig. <laughs> yeah. I could have, I really could have hit my goal this month, but I just like you, I just, I just, I was so tired over the weekend, I just couldn't be bothered. But I think yeah. the thing is, Belle, is that I've been so tired for months on end, do you know what I mean? It's just got to a point where with everything going on with like, the new job and then 
just this continuous pandemic rubbish. It's I'm just not motivated really. Yeah, and you you definitely have to have something, some sort of umph. Now and again, like I said, I'll have a day where I'll be in a, a fairly good mood and I'll think, right, I'll sit down now yeah. and I'll I'll crack on and I can do, like you said, I can do 10, 15 listings in, you know, in, in an afternoon or an evening or whatever. But then like <laughs> yesterday, literally it was five. It took me yeah. all day to do five listings. I, I can do 15 in an hour as well. I didn't actually. say an hour. Yeah, when she's preloading them for you. <laughs> uh 20 pound does that include the eight pound early bird? <laughs> no because he makes me stand outside and watch oh right well we've nearly done two hours say so he knows for well he can she can only spend that 20 pound by the time half the stores have finally got a bit of money so by the time yeah. he gets back and finds her she's still got the 20 pound note in her hand <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, I'm quite happy with saying if it's something I really want, I'll say to somebody, "Will you hold it for me, and I'll come back." Mm. And then I send, then I spend a half an hour panicking <laughs> to try and change to go back and actually buy buying, it. buying some of its shit for a quid in order to get change. I go back six more times to the stall, going, "I am coming back. I am coming <laughs> back." <laughs> Mondo says, "Found a stash of Scottish paper pound notes." in a jar are, are these still in use i don't think the pound notes are in use anymore even the scottish ones uh but maybe collectibles you might be able to sell them on ebay maybe i don't know to be honest with you i've got an old i've got a pound note somewhere oh, yeah. here, an old english pound note i've got loads of old coins i used to collect them with my granddad years ago god knows what they're worth now I used to collect old coins, but I don't think they have a lot of value. Oh, thanks for that. You've ruined it for Sorry. me. <laughs> Unless it's something right, really. But... <laughs> yeah, that one, deep one. Is Husky sticking up for you there? He said it's the pictures. It's the picture taking that takes the time. I find exactly. Thank you Whatever. very much. Thank Whatever. you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do That's the hard bit. She still gets paid for the listing, even though she doesn't actually complete the listing. It's what you're reading, Rob Boyd. Faves, where did you get that prize from? <laughs> you mean you mean the bit where I sit there for 30 minutes, like research, research. Oh, yeah. research, and then I check it afterwards. I must admit, at the moment, because I've got he's given me piles and piles and piles of t shirts, right? And I don't like listing clothing, but I don't have a choice at the minute because that's what he's giving me. But what I find to do is. I'll literally pull something out and I think, is that going to be easy to search for? Has it got something on it that I can literally <laughs> type in and it's going to bring it up? <laughs> lazy kid. <laughs> That's not what I'm lazy paying you. Lazy as opposed to you. <laughs> Look at this haul I've got, guys. Anybody know anything about any of them? But the problem is there will become a point where the, all the stuff I'm putting to one side that's too hard, I'm going to have to do all in one go. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it. that's it. It's, it's, it's going to be a right nightmare for a, for a while, isn't it? Tori says she's got three 80-litre containers ready to... Wow, you're going to get through all three of those tomorrow, Tori. Bloody hell. Wow. That's good going if you do. Mind you, if it's big, heavy coats, then that's not many, but if it's T-shirts, it's a lot. James says only pound coins, not had a Scottish note for years. No. TD says five listings. That's not a million miles off oh. a of verbal warning, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> My phone's died. Okay, we're um, almost at the end anyway. Uh, Chris, does that mean Bell has to list 170? <laughs> ah, that's a very, very good point, James. But no, she's been paid accordingly. So, you know, if she doesn't make the target, she gets pro rata, you know. Gonna enjoy that ten pounds she got this month, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't spend it all at once. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's the first time I've not hit my quota. It's the first time, and when he's let me do um, all vinyl mations because they're super quick and super easy to do. Oh, I yeah. loved it when he was buying boxes of those. It was like thirty. I could do thirty listings. Like bam, 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 bam. I know. Yeah, I, 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 well, I was well shortchanged on that. No, you were because I did you that month an extra ten listings and I did didn't you? get paid oh. the extra ten. Yeah, to make up for it. Mm. See, swings and roundabouts. 
because I did feel I did feel bad because you can literally list one and then do sell similar <laughs> and just change a couple of bits. Oh yeah, I see where you're going with that now. It's easy. When you don't have to do the photos even, of course. Photos take the time. Um okay, right. We are pretty much done, I think, for this week. So what have we got coming up? Well, we've got movie chats Thursday night, 7 p.m. What's the what's the subject this week? I've forgotten. You forget every week. Uh, it's a lot of movie. movie chats. Yeah. It's, it's, it's war, war, films. Films. war films. Yeah, you made me watch that bloody rubbish film the other day. It wasn't rubbish. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Casualties of War, is that rubbish? No, it's a classic with Michael J. Fox and Sean yeah. Penn. Got Martin McFly oh, in it. How can all it get I could picture was him like doing his not. He just acted the same as like he does in any other no, he film. Didn't. It no, wasn't. He doesn't. no, he didn't. No, no, no. It no, might have no. been a good film if it hadn't been Michael J. Fox. Oh, don't dear, put, that, tell you. No, put that back on later. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, we've got movie chats Thursday. I'm probably going to have at least maybe one or two videos out this week. Um, next Monday night, 8 p.m., Reseller World. It's a special um, episode. Jason T. Smith is coming on, and we're going to do 20 tips. They already know five of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 20 tips um, for reselling, but not just your average tips. These are things that you might not have thought of before. Yeah, bag in a bag in a bag in a bag. Exactly. That might be one of them. Russian not... bags. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, if you haven't hit the like button, please hit the oh, like button oh, for oh, us. Oh, it's, it's, Where's this going? It's, oh, it's, going. it's, a, it's on Oliver Ian. Yeah. <laughs> it's up his nose. <laughs> Where's his nose? Down there. No, his nose is the thumb. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. um, also, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Actually, that way, isn't it? No, no, no. That way. What are you trying to point at? I was trying to point at the side. Right, of the front, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we've got that on Monday this time next week. So that should be really good fun. Um, Mr. Diggs was waiting for you to put the link back out again. Oh, oh you should have given the shout, Diggs. Diggs. Oh, there was. I put the link in a few times, Mr. Diggs. You you should have saw it, seen it. He was oh. waiting for it to come on again. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. And also, don't forget if you want to join in with the raffle, then send me a message. I'll tell you what to do. Uh, some great prizes to be had there next month or this month, actually. So that is it. That is it. We're it's done for this March. week. It's March yeah, already. It's March. March, yeah. Go on, say it. White rabbits, white no, rabbits, white rabbits. You can't say it now. It's too late because we've been. It has to be the first thing you say. It's never it? the first thing we say. Yeah. No, it is when I do it. It's not. What are you two on? <laughs> <laughs> it's the first of the month. So you have to do white rabbits, white rabbits, white rabbits. You have to say that for good luck for the month. It but, never works. But you have <laughs> to say how's that it's out be the you? first thing that you say on the, on the first of the month. So it's too late now. Just every month. Every month on the first. You've got to do white rabbits for good luck. Right, okay. I'll bear that so in don't mind. Forget. <laughs> and can I just say I think you've all been highly honoured the fact that I'm still here two hours in. I mm -hmm. know. You perked up a bit to be fair. Yeah, you know why? I've now gone into overdrive, which means I won't sleep. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> <be> wired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James Stance has never heard of the White Rabbits either. <laughs> Come on, you got to do White Rabbits. Look at them all ding donging. See, my game's the best. Oh, ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> thanks, Katan. Thank you. Yeah, um, thanks, John. Came on. Thanks to all the guests. Cheers, Oliver Ian. Thank you for coming oh, on. Uh, and I'll you. put a link to everyone's channel for those that have like channels or whatever. I'll put a link in the description. We'll just put Oliver in's address in I'll case people put... want to go around and buy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, sorry. I was just checking the last oh, bit of the... You both literally just paused. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. Right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks to all the guests, all the Take chat. Care,
see you again next week. Stay safe. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Bye.